It's the new 96 one now. Russell and Raven here. You know, we don't normally do this kind of a thing, right? Normally, we just crack jokes and, you know, we're stupid on the air. But it's pretty much our job, uh, yeah. Serious times call for serious measures. So a lot of people have questions, want to know really what's going on in this whole uh, coronavirus uh, situation. So welcome to the show, Dr. Fred Campbell from UT Health. Doctor, thanks for being here. My pleasure. So, Doc, what are you seeing? Uh, what's the latest in San Antonio when it comes to coronavirus? I believe we're very fortunate in San Antonio thus far that we do not have a non-travel associated case of COVID-19. And so we have an opportunity to really protect our community and our area at this point. Yeah, I keep hearing from people uh, that were overreacting. Mm -hmm. Like Raven literally was like, okay, I just started taking it seriously like today. Okay, I I didn't say that. (laughs) I said I started getting really scared today, okay? I think uh, panic is uh, one thing and being as cautious as possible is something completely different. Are you on the front lines of this? Are you scared? No, not really. Not at this this point. Yeah. Have you been tested? No, I haven't. Uh, I haven't really been exposed to patients that were uh, in a higher risk situation yet. When should someone get tested? Only when they see symptoms? Right now, uh, we are in a situation where the testing kits are at something of a premium. And so it would be important for patients who are concerned to contact, say, a university emergency center or one of the military emergency centers and get information about whether it would be appropriate for them to be tested at this point. I I saw somebody post on Facebook, which is, of course, the official source for everything coronavirus. Um, (laughs) 66% of us are going to get it. So why don't we just go all out and get it now and become immune to it? Well, yes, we probably will uh, have a high incidence, just like they had in China. Uh, The difference is that uh, if everybody goes out and and, uh, exposes themselves... Starts uh, making out with each other, right. (laughs) Intentionally, yeah. Then, uh, unfortunately, there's going to be such a high rate of infection in the community that it will be difficult to protect very vulnerable individuals from, Mm. from contact. So basically, all the things we're doing are trying to manage the numbers so that those who get it and get it seriously have a much better chance of being treated. That's correct. You know, uh, I know we keep doing all the things, right? Uh, Social distancing, uh, wash your hands, Mm -hmm. hand sanitizer everywhere. I, by by the way, have not been able to find hand sanitizer anywhere. But uh, not surprisingly, I do have tons of vodka at home. So (laughs) is one of these like home recipes for hand sanitizer worth it or even safe? Well, I've already gone on the record. Uh, I did uh, nix the idea of using vodka. Uh, (laughs) Tongue-in-cheek. Actually, uh, something like Everclear, which is 90% uh, alcohol, would probably be effective. But boy, is that expensive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah generally, if you have high um, concentrations of alcohol uh, that you're exposed to, uh, that would would uh, suffice. Uh, but hand washing is also superb. So wait a minute. If alcohol does it, why did we cancel Fiesta? Like right then and there, man. We could have killed that thing. I don't, I don't yeah, think it's a, enough. That's a real shame. And that's right. Uh, I would not. I would not advise ingesting alcohol as a means of uh, oh. reducing. Yeah, it doesn't work uh, that okay. way, guys. Oh, okay. Got it, got it. Yeah. Uh, talking with uh, Dr. Campbell here from uh, UT Health to try and get some of your questions answered. Doc, can, can you stick around here? Because we have a bunch of people who wrote in with their own questions. We'll just do like a lightning round uh, of, of some real-life scenarios that maybe you can help people with. Okay, I'll try to be brief. Okay, all right. Uh, we'll be back uh, more. If you've got a question for him, you can hit us up right now, too, on social media, 961 Now SA across all the channels, or 210 4705 961.